we're taking a very holistic approach to measurement across the board. We want to make sure that everything we're buying is measurable the way the client wants to be measuring it and in a way that's going to drive business outcomes for our clients. But at the same time, we can't stop at measurement. We need to take what's working, what's not working, and feed that back into the planning and buying process, creating a more circular workflow so that planning is enhanced by smart buying. Smart buying enhances what we can measure and measurement underpins all of it. So how in, in the, the measurement philosophy, is it it's not one size fits all, but do you have like a recommended suite of tools? Or? I, I think the tools are dictated by the need of the campaign. And we want to make sure that our teams that are thinking about what type of media to buy also understand how does the client want to measure it so that we're able to buy the right type of media to measure, but also layer on the right type of data points into the tooling process. So making sure that um, as an example, if a client is looking to measure site traffic visit, there are things that need to be done before that campaign actually goes to air to make sure that we're able to measure it the right way. Um, you, Group Evan and I have done some work together. You want to describe the nature of the relationship as a part of more partnership than a traditional agency? Yeah, last summer, Group M engaged iSpot to really challenge the marketplace on quantifying an issue that was previously unmeasurable, which we call continuous play. The idea that because we're moving towards an impression-based environment, a lot of times a third-party device plugged into a TV to turn it into a smart TV to bring apps onto that screen is not able to communicate with the TV if the TV has been turned off or is left unattended for a long period of time. Um, knowing that iSpot has an unbelievable reach of ACR data, we came up with a co-developed product that we've now made available to the broader marketplace that allows iSpot to really capture not just that impressions are being delivered, but ensure that the, when the impressions are being delivered, that the TV that the device is plugged into is turned on. Um, that's phase one. Phase two is really starting to measure, do we know if somebody's in front of the TV? Has somebody stood up and walked out of the room? Has somebody changed the input to a different signal? All of these things are going to be critical for more accurate measurement around connected TV as we move away from panel-based measurement. Is, um, talk about that personification. Uh, is that important? How important is personification to you? Yeah. Personification is, is important. Um, I think that's a longer term challenge that we're going to face. I think right now we're still in a world where deterministically we know a household has somebody inside of it that's inside of our intended audience. And then we can probabilistically marry that deterministic household data with who was most likely to be viewing at that time based on third party signals, external data sources, things like that. So when you, I'm gonna ask you to come back and say it to like, in a really simple way, how would you explain it to a brand? Like what's the... I think, I think the way that we're explaining it to brands right now is don't, don't think too hard around things that are unsolvable. Make sure that as we're thinking about audience delivery, we're delivering the right message to the right intended household where that audience resides. TV is still primarily a shared screen. It's the biggest piece of glass in the house. People gravitate towards it. Let's, let's make sure that we're thinking about streaming TV the same way we've always thought about TV from a re as a reach driver. Um, thank you. You just did a panel. With your competitors, a big discussion. Any, any key takeaways? What's coming up? Anything fresh? We have a huge opportunity right now um, as buyers across the board to work together to really push the market forward. Uh, Group M cannot move the market ourselves, um, neither can any one agency. We do need to be aligned in terms of what our expectations are from media sellers, from technology vendors, from partners in the market. Um, as much data as possible, and then let us as agencies provide our own unique spin on how to bring that data together. Mm -hmm.